What is up, guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Aska. My name is Evil One. As we look around here, you'll see that it is night. In fact, I believe it's like the exact middle of the night. But I just got the notification that winter is finally coming to an end. And I was correct after the last episode. Winter uh, was ending. Like, I knew it. It's been several days of very, like this, very cold. Storms, that sort of thing. Let's pull up the UI here and take a look. We'll notice up here in the upper right hand corner, it is still winter. It is the exact middle of the night, negative 10.8 degrees. The bad one is the villagers are seven. When we started winter, we had 19. Most everybody survived until like yesterday. <laughs> and then they just started dropping. And I don't know, I think it's a bug, but I don't know what happened. Uh, somebody's in here, it looks like. I see the little Zs. They're probably freezing. We'll get a fire in here for them. I don't have any more firewood. You'll see a bunch of tools laying around. There's usually crosses and stuff right here. Because they would stand right here in the doorway and die. They'd freeze to death. I don't... like this. Right here. Here is their crosses. Fortunately, everything is left right here. We have clothing. Might as well pick that up. We can reuse that. But yeah, they would just simply die. With more clothing. And so I don't know what, what was going on there. But we're, we're down a lot of people now. There's some rope. Might as well pick that up. So we have a lot of rebuilding to do. In the last episode, I mentioned that I really need to fix everybody's schedules, and I do. Um, it's going to make it easier now that we have only seven people here. I'm going to get some firewood. I'm going to come over out here. I've been harvesting these stumps to get firewood. You'll notice that there's not very many stumps left. Got a couple here. A couple pieces of firewood. We'll run them back to these cottages so they don't freeze to death. Honestly, I haven't been managing these fires in here much at all. They've been doing a fairly decent job on their own. Or somebody has been, anyway. Firewood going in there. I think they're okay. Yeah. How much firewood do they have? No, we're gonna add some. Oh, that's all I can do. Alright, so hopefully spring comes really soon here. Because I've been doing all the hunting. Our hunter died. And so all that meat you see hanging there is what I've found. You'll notice too that I also have a bow. I did craft the long bow. And that has helped me actually get some big game. Um, maybe we'll do that here in a little bit. We'll go, go hunting. Get some... Yeah, let's go hunting. So I found a nice herd of deer, elk things. I forget what they call them here. They're just right over here. Not too far away. Let's see if we can spot something without scaring it off. I think it's like right up over the top of this hill. There's a herd. I 
There's one. We crouch down. We need to get somewhat close. We have the bow out. Keep scanning. And I, I put the little Viking vision button on my mouse. It's one of the buttons on my on my mouse. Okay. We're gonna move real slow now. He's laid down. Probably don't need to actually shoot him. Probably could just oh. Ah, oh, I missed. Okay, switching to my blade. I'm not gonna catch him. You shoot him, then they go really slow. You can catch him with the Oh, there we go. This is the herd I was thinking of. Alright. We got a bunch down here. Take this one right here. Alright, we're gonna aim. And we're gonna aim up above him. So we're gonna drop. Oh, I missed. Oh. Ah, there we go. Hit him with that one. Switch my blade. There we go. get this harvest up. It's a fin. Alright, we got it harvested. I'm going to take my arrow back. Yay. Uh, I'm going to harvest one meat chunk and we'll carry the other. Oh, don't run away. Oh, good. And we'll pick that up. Alright, let's head back to camp. And hopefully the temperatures start rising. Because we need to get a whole bunch of people to replace the people that we lost. And then for our expansion, because we still need people. Like, we have a bunch of industries, for lack of a better term. Um, oh, my rope spoiled. That I had in my, my inventory, it looks like. We have a bunch of, of huts that don't have any workers. And I can't do everything. So it's just more that should be my guard. Right, we're just going to hang this up here on this rack. I've been kind of splitting the, the two. And I take all the meat down here. Uh-oh, that fire went out. That's not good. Placing it all right there. So we'll get some more firewood. And we'll get those fires going again. I don't have very many inventory slots. Because I have all this uh, clothing in, in my inventory as well. We'll dump it off. I have two extra hoods. I'm just going to drop them right here. There we go. Two hoods right there. We'll get some more firewood. Oh, we've got a bunch more firewood. And we'll get the healing hut fired up here as well. So, other than lack of people, you know, alive, losing over half of our people. <laughs> uh, things are pretty good. I uh, can't really complain. I wish it would hurry up and warm up. But it is what it is. Like, I don't even know who is with me anymore. We have some unhappy people. But, like, I lost Eagle. Eagle died. Uh, I lost Floki. Floki died. I lost Canute. He was my hunter. He died. So I have one person in the watchtower, barracks. We got Ari, Aria, or Ari, 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 I'm not making sure how to pronounce that name. She's my cook now. We got a uh, woodcutter. Oh, we do have a hunter. Hedvig. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I haven't seen her actually hunt him, her actually hunt. We have the Gertrude. She's still fishing. And we have Bo's 
he is a uh, builder. So let's check to see who's unhappy. <laughs> um, yeah, I I mean she was lower. She's coming up, but she doesn't like her hours. I, I don't know what to do about this small happiness decrease down here. Soggy discomfort. I'm sorry, I, I can't do anything about that. And just small happiness decrease. I don't know. It is what it is at this point. So, I've been, like I said, I've been hunting. I've been uh, collecting firewood. I've been doing a little cooking. That's kind of slowed down a little bit here as well. In fact, let me get something to eat for myself. I'm gonna chop these seeds. I've been meaning to do that. We got a big pile of seeds. Well, we have seed storage here too. There we go. Deposit those. I do have to make another um, pickaxe here real soon because, as you can see, it's getting down there pretty low. So is my knife. But we have lots of knives in storage in here. We don't have a pickaxe. So let's see what it's going to take to make a pickaxe. It's right here. So we need some wood shafts. We need the large iron pickaxe head and nails. I have nails. I don't have the the other two here. So maybe we should start collecting some of that. I see the vegetation is starting to come back. That's good. Hardwood log. We want the long stick. There we go. Probably should have brought my sled down here. With these begin. Chop it up. Put them in our inventory. Perfect. Down to get more. It looks like there's even more vegetation. Seasons are changing. Alright, and this should be four. Okay. Now we'll put those into storage if we can. It's been a while since I've checked my storage. Uh, that's medium storage. That's really full there. Got a lot of feathers here. Medium storage. Here we go. Alright. And we need... I don't think I have any bloom. How many do we need? To make... We need six of them there to make the pickaxe head. We'll come over here to the bloomery. I haven't done this in a while. And now Eagle is gone. We have no ore. And we have coal. There's some coal right there. We have no ore. Let's see if there's anything in here. Oh. We have three things, I think. We need six. That means we have to make a trip to the mine. That's not something I really want to do, because it's kind of far away. And once it starts getting above freezing, maybe we'll head there. But for now, we're just going to welcome spring. Let's take a look at people's schedules. Uh, now that we have less people, it might be pretty easy to do that. So as, as I said in the last video, I don't want everybody kind of waking up at the same time. And so... Because they they come to the the cookhouse here all at the same time they they swarm this on their leisure time and they sit around it they can only hold, they can only hold three people so I would like for them to kind of be a staggered type of wake up and and bedtime so cooking house I'm gonna leave her schedule as it is um, but the fisherman. Uh, this this gal here. Let's see. Usually fishing starts pretty early, so let's make her be leisure time at oh let's call it four o'clock, and she's gonna go to work. Have some leisure time, and then go to work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right there. Have some leisure time. And then sleep. 
like that. And that gives her one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hours of sleep, ten hour work day, plenty of leisure time in between. And she wakes up at four o'clock. Alright. Yes. Okay. So my woodcutter, he can wake up a little later. We'll have him, yeah, he can wake up at 8 o'clock. Or he works only an 8-hour day. S does a lot of sleeping. I bet he's really happy. <laughs> Let's find out. No, he still complains about his work hours. Let's see here. We're going to leave his schedule there. And... Let's see. Can we just, like, delete these presets? I'd like to. I would like to delete these presets because I'm changing everything, and I'd like to change it. Oh, I guess I can right here. Yes, confirm. Let's just delete everything, and then we can confirm. Uh, create our own. All right, so this was my woodcutter. We'll leave his schedule alone. My hunter, let's see. So we have our fisher lady waking up at four. We're going to have him wake up at five. So at five, he's going to wait. He's going to go leisure work. We'll have him leisure at noon. Work. And then sleep. We'll do something like that. And so that is going to be my hunter. My hunter schedule. So up at 5. Goes to bed at 8 o'clock. Perfect. Apply. Okay, my watchtower. I'm not going to mess with theirs yet. Builder. Oh yeah. My builder. He's going to start his day at 8 o'clock. I'm going to give him extra time at night to set torches. And he's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 hours of sleep. I'm going to work him, though. And he's going to build all that during that time. So I'm going to create this and call it Day Builder. Save. All right. Yes. And that's all I have for now. That's all I'm going to do for now. Uh, I could adjust theirs, but I don't. I don't really. I'm going to bring more people in, and that's going to get all adjusted. So right now we only have security during the night, it looks like. I used to have security around the clock, but not anymore. Oh, I'm getting really thirsty. Go. And she's cooking away. That's great. Things are greening up. Looks like spring is coming. Slowly. Needs to get here faster, I'm sure. Yeah, so... She needs all these fruits and vegetables and stuff to make stuff. And we just don't have it yet, obviously, because it's winter. <laughs> it looks like she's good on meat, so once everybody starts waking up here too, uh, in just a little bit, they'll come and get these, this food. And so what I'll probably do is have two cooks if I can. Can I actually... Yeah, I can assign more people. So I'll have like a day cook and a night cook. Have them work in shifts. I'm actually going to take... Well, people are starting to wake up. I was going to take some of this food and go put it in the warehouse. I was also told that I can have a warehouse worker. I can actually assign a worker to the warehouse. And they'll run around and grab supplies for the warehouse. So that's good to know. I thought I tried that before. But, oh well. Hi. Let's get it on. Yeah. Edvig. Is that my hunter? 
Right on. Go hunting. So yeah, I need to start getting Jutin blood too. Let's actually work on a little of that. Maybe we can bring in somebody else right now. I'm gonna bring the sled. Maybe go to the cave. I'm kind of making my way towards the cave. So I can get some more iron ore. So I can make another pickaxe head. There's some. Really close to that cave, too. That cave is just right over there. Actually, we'll park the sled here. We'll go get some iron ore here in just a minute. I'm going to get some mutant blood. Oh, get up there. There we go. Alright, let's go in the cave and get some iron ore. Where I was working before. Your craziness. There's light. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Pick up some of this iron ore really quick. Check out the iron ore. Looks like that's all the iron ore. What's this? What is going on in here? Uh, so, like, I'm legitimately, like, not, not good here. Um,. I really don't want bad guys to come get me. I keep hearing some sort of creature. What is this? It's a hole. It's like I'm waiting for like a bad guy to come crashing down here and just like murder me. Uh oh, nope, 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 nope. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. I was able to kill it pretty quick. I don't know what that was, but I... Oh, my gosh. Uh, no. I saw another one. There he is. <laughs> Baby crawler. Does it give me anything? I'm going to try and harvest it here without that other one coming to get me. Meat. I'll take it. Oh, I need to get my sword out. Actually, I'm going to shoot him with a bow and arrow. I can't see. That's a guess. are not fun. What is this? Cave fingers. What do they give? Uh, it's raw food. Okay. Oh. Oh my gosh. I'm like... This is not okay. Right. Oh. I hear more. That's... <laughs> I'm waiting for daddy to show up. Those are if those are the babies. I was able to defeat defeat them fairly easily. But I I really don't want to find the daddy or mommy bad guy. 
And I don't know what these cave fingers are. If they're any good, we'll find out. Let's collect them anyway. Let's see what happens. There are more walls. Alright. We survived yet another day. Get up here. Alright. I'm here with... Oh, there's some iron ore here. Probably is in the basket. No smokers that were running around messed them up. Alright, let's check our inventory really quick. Because I'm curious about these things. I'm going to read this really quick. Okay, so these are just like any kind of mushroom. Uh, and But they are safe to eat in their raw state. Which is very good to know. Um... We'll probably cook them up anyway, just because when you cook things, you do get a a boost. Like, you get more out of it. Okay, we'll just head back. I got some ore. We'll look for some mutant blood on the way back. It's starting to get a little cold. It is warm, warmed up quite a bit. We're still below freezing, but we're still... We're not as cold, I should say. I do not like those creatures in that cave. That's what I was worried about. I was worried about opening up this cave and, like, unearthing some sort of monster that's just going to murder me. There is... Oh, my goodness. There's this mutant blood. There are creatures everywhere. is full. Where's my... Ugh. Oh, no. I lost my sled. Took off chasing after that smoker. Around here somewhere. Took off chasing after that smoker and I got kind of turned around a little bit. And I got the smoker. Okay, here we go. Is that? Nope. Oh, man. Where's my sled? Well, show me on the map. <laughs> it's around here somewhere. Great. Now I don't even know where I got that smoker at. Wander around till I find it, I guess. Yeah, it's getting foggy. I'm just going to make it even harder to see. There it is. Oh, good. I stumbled across it. All right. Put some iron ore in there so we can take the Uten blood here. I'll head back to camp. There we are. I didn't get any more notifications of people dying, so that's good. We're going to bring in uh, his fishing skills are good. Winter Huntsman. Yay. He's an athlete. We're going to bring in Half Dan. What exactly he's going to do yet? I'm not sure. Maybe be a hunter. We need a farmer really soon. We also need we need everybody. <laughs> Let's see. I could bring it over here. Full storage. Deposit our ore there. I know we're getting very cold. Unload our cart in here. 
There we go. Let's go get warmed up. Yeah, hi. Uh oh. Oh, she's in the middle of cooking something. Couldn't keep the fire going. That's great. I'm a little hungry too, so I might as well eat something here. I also want to try cooking with these mushrooms. Alright, whoa. <laughs> oh, that doesn't look creepy. What is going on? Alright, we got... What? What was that say? Spoiled food? Oh. So if we actually cook with it, it just spoils the food. That's fantastic. Okay. I'd like to drop it off somewhere. It's raw food, huh? Maybe I can drop it off in the raw food basket. That's... Excuse me. Well, I guess I'll just hold on to it then. Maybe I'll just eat it. What I have. I need to get rid of this rotten food now. I'm going to go use the bathroom. done using the bathroom. Everything's melting, which is great. Let us... We need more Uten blood. Oh, we need to like start working in the bloomery here. So we can get more Uten blood, because our pickaxe is almost down to nothing. Alright. So we're going to add... There we go, and we'll add the rest in coal. Okay. I'm going to go put the rest of this coal in the blacksmith shop that I have in my inventory. Alright, let's make some make some iron here. We have to ignite it. Alright, one more to go and we should have five. Hopefully the fuel will hold out long enough. Any second now. There we go. Uh, cancel. We'll extinguish that. Alright. And we'll hammer away at it. Alright. And we'll do it a, at least once more. Afton is here. He's going to be a builder for a minute. And then I'm thinking about... I'm gonna, i got to look at his other abilities first. He might become either a hunter or a farmer. And I'm leaning towards farmer just because we got to get on that as well. Like that is a priority. Alright, there we go. I'll extinguish it. Hammer away. There he is right there. There's Havden. Let's take a look at his stats. So he's a retired bowman. So he's really good with a bow and arrow. He's an athlete. He likes to hunt in the winter time. He's a harvest blessing. He excels in harvesting crops and gathering resources during the fall. And he's a stone breaker. He excels at breaking stones. So, 
he fits the mold more of a hunter with the archer and the winter huntsman. Um, let's take a look really quick at my other hunter. Hunter's hut. This, this gal here. She is... Um, <laughs> not really good at much of anything. I hate to say that, but I'm going to dismiss her and make her my farmer for now. And I'm going to make Havden the hunter. And I'm going to adjust his schedule. He is going to start his day at 6 a.m. I have an hour of leisure there. Okay. Kind of in the middle of the day thing again. Uh, giving him a break at noon to get water and, and that sort of thing. And he's going to be a hunter. And he's probably going to be, yes. Uh, coming to me really quick here to need a bow and, and that sort of thing. We'll see. So I think she is now my farmer. Because even though we are still officially in winter, it is very clearly spring. Manage worker. Uh, I'm going to make... Ooh, well. Yeah. You're going to be my farmer. Let's check your schedule. You wake up at 5. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. But I do need to adjust what we're growing here. Tasks, farm crop tasks. Available this season. Okay. What is... Off-season, off-season. Oh. Flax. Yeah, we need flax. Beetroot, which is that, it's already there. Alright, save. There we go. Hopefully she'll start, uh, start working. Oh, I'm getting thirsty. Alright. Oh... Winter is over and spring is finally here. Now that spring is here. Hi, I'm trying to do my outro. Thank you. Now that spring is here, uh, we can start working again and, and preparing for next winter, I guess. So it's still pretty cold. It's still probably dropping in the freezing temps at night. But at this point, I think we're out of the woods. We now have eight villagers with us from the 19 we started with before winter. But spring is finally here. Yay. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please remember to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and hit that little bell notification so you never miss an episode. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful night. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.